Hi Dave, great to see you this evening at the Wilderness Club. Just to recap on what we worked on, really impressed with uh, the work you've put in. I know you haven't had a chance to hit many balls, but your uh, your backswing movement is so different. If we have a look at this on the left, we can see, look at this, we're actually starting to wind up. Look at that spine angle, that looks like a really powerful backswing in that spine for the first time is actually leaning to the right hand side which is great so we're actually fully loaded up really really impressed the thing we've got to work a little bit harder on is this getting this keeping this lag like i keep saying we've got this nice strong position here and terrible line sorry they're lovely angles but as we start down dave we can see look at it, we throw it and then like you said you do do fishing so but you are casting that club that club is getting further and further away from your head as you get down, but I mean, if you look at Sergio at this frame, his shaft will be there, so he really does maintain that lag, so we can see that you are losing it, and this position you are in exactly here, these hands should be on that right thigh, so this should be your hands here, and then the shaft should be at 90, so we can see you really are chucking that club head away, so I gave you some different thoughts or feelings today, to try and get that lag in the right sort of position. And if we look at the swing here on the right, we worked on a couple of moves. One was take your right hand off the club, uh, make a circle between, with your index finger and your thumb and just put that there around the shaft here. So what left hand's on the club, right hand slides down. And as you start your downswing, you'll be able to really hold on to the shaft angle and pull that into you so you've got really good you know set coming down the second thing is what you're doing on this drill is to start to feel that you hit your right shoulder on the way down with the club head now you can see look at the difference here if i go back a little bit i mean look at that it's ridiculously different your left arm's in the same spot there you've got nearly 50 percent more lean in the shaft and then as you start down on this one you're really keeping that club and look at that there Hands opposite your right thigh and the shaft angle is pretty good compared to this swing here on the left, sorry. Look at that, it's gone. So you really did start to get the feeling with that, which I was really pleased with. And that's just going to get better and better. Look how much them hands are ahead of the ball at this impact position, opposed to this one here. Look at that, the club head. The club head is beating your hands here, Dave. We can see the shaft is, is backwards. Sorry, get rid of these lines. He's going backwards. What we can see here, the shaft is that way. So that's a massive difference there, but it is only a practice swing, and I understand that. So you need to keep doing that for me in your garden at home, and then over the ball, I want, sorry, keep doing that in your garden, and then when you're on the golf course, remember this line I talked about here, this this side of the line is your technical, okay? I want you to step, but your practice swing is going to be behind the ball now, okay? Really working hard on your positions and things like that, and as soon as you cross this line, this imaginary line here. So as soon as you cross it this side, you're into the shot. God, I love this club. I'm going to hit a little draw here. Come on, Dave. I can hit a lovely little draw here. Get into the shot. I want you to have no faults over the ball. And I've given you a game to play when you play on Saturday that for every shot you hit, I don't want any swing faults. And if you do that, I want you to put a tick on that hole. So if it's a par four and you make a five, I'm hoping you're going to get five ticks. If you've hit the shot and you've accidentally thought of a swing fault, put a cross. Add all the ticks up at the end of the round and text me. I want to know what you got, what you shot. Don't care if it's 200 or 100 or 50. I want to, the main thing is I want to know how many ticks you get. One, it's going to get you to free up over the ball, Dave. And two, it's going to get you to enjoy the shot more or enjoy golf more. Golf's not always about perfect. We've got to get that right. Putting, you, hopefully you remember the things we did. We changed your grip. Got them hands closer together. I moved you closer to the ball, okay, and I made your feet a lot wider. Don't forget to check that for me. Just put your uh, spare ball in your pocket, in your right hand pocket. Set up to the putt as you feel perfect. Take your hat, right hand off the putter. Pick the ball out your pocket and put it to your eye and drop it. If that ball drops on the other ball, you know you're bang on. But when you're at home, use the mirror. Dave, really impressed. Looking forward to getting out and playing a few holes, and I'll see you soon.